Hello everybody, how y'all doing? So good to see ya. Y'all say hello as you come in. I just pressed uh, the start button and I spilled the drink. Well, that's funny. <laughs> Guys, I'm on uh, Paint Pixies page today. Uh, we're going to be finishing up that tea set. Let me just clean this up and I'll be right there. I'm so sorry. Don't want my dogs drinking that. Stop, Bina. Don't drink that. Girl, you be caffeinated, girl. <laughs> okay, is anybody here? Oh, wow, we've got 50 people already. Hello, Catherine Kelly. How you doing? So good to see you. Happy Sunday, everybody. Um, there's Mary Ann Gobert. How you doing? Hello, Marie Doss and Diana Hogue Young. How you doing? So, guys, I'm going to get the comments put up on Paint Pixie's page, but I'll look up here and read from my page, okay? Um, hey, Sierra Ruby. How you doing, friends? So good to see you. Hello, Patty Mellage. Happy Sunday. Hey, Darlene Berry. How you doing, friend? So good to see y'all. Hope you're having a good day so far. Um, hello, Gloria. Hello, Cindy. How y'all doing? Hello, Beverly. Here we are. We get, we're pulled up. So, um, guys, I got to get some more resin. I don't know when that's going to be, but um, once I get some more resin... I'm going to add another layer because um, we're working on this pattern. It's called Sew Girls, and it was um, fabric from 2007, I believe. Um, but you can find it on Amazon as well. I was looking on Amazon. They've got lots of different prints, but we did the tray the other day. But since it's called Sew Girls, I added some buttons in there. So I need to get some more resin and do another layer of resin. But today we're going to be working on the... Ba -ba boom Today we're going to be working on the teapot and the teacups, but this fabric is a little bit too large, guys. I was going to try to put uh, a, a lady on the teapot, but it's just not big enough. So that's okay. We got lots of fabric left, but we can save that for lots of other projects because I love it so much. Hello, Karen Young. Happy J January. How you doing? Hello, Mary Tayo. So good to see you. Uh, let me pull up the comments on Pink Pixie's page, see who's watching with us. Uh, and then we'll get started. I hope everybody's having a great day. So we're not really on a time limit, guys, but we are on Paint Pixie's page, so I want to want to move kind of quickly. Uh, oh, Delma, you so sweet. Here, let me let me show you these girls. They're funny. They're funny. Um, can y'all see it? But see all the buttons that I added in. I don't know if y'all can see all the buttons, but I need to add a little bit more resin. Um, I thought that it was kind of fun. But this is what we're going to be working on today. So let me get a puppy pad, and then we're going to start on this, uh, start on this teapot, y'all. Woo-hoo-hoo! Oh, and, uh, shoot, I've got some exciting news, too. Always something. Hello, Barbara. How you doing, friend? So good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Barb's crafting fun. So good to see you in the house today. Hope y'all are doing well. Carol Roos here. Hey, Mama Jerry. How you doing? Hello, Cindy. How, you, how are you? So, uh, okay, here we are. Who's with us on Paint Pixie's page? Catherine Kelly, Barbara Jacks, Sharon Canavan, and how y'all doing? So good to see ya. So guys, I'm going to be reading from both pages because I am on Paint Pixie's page. Today we're going to be using the reds, the yellows, and the greens because we want to pull up some of these, uh, these colors. I'm going to use black and white as well and the gold. So, the colors that are in my palette, let me just go ahead and tell you. Uh, the green is Christmas cookie, and then we got sour apple, the light color. Can y'all see these? And then we have honeycomb yellow, and then we have um, red velvet cake, which is the darker red, and then we have candy apple red. This is marshmallow white and onyx black. So, those are the colors we're going to be working with. I did use the honeycomb, see the... That one's a little bit brighter. I just added a little bit of unicorn spit. It's a um, just a pigment that you can add to brighten it a little bit. So they're both honeycomb, but I added unicorn spit to one of them. So one of them's a little bit brighter. Okay. Uh, hey, Joe Ellen, how you doing? Hello, Robin. How are you, friends? So good to see you. Afternoon, Rose. How are you? So guys, my plans is we're going to incorporate some of the black and white on here, right? So I'm going to do the checks on the lid of the teapot and then I'm going to do polka dots on one of the trays and then stripes on one of the trays and uh you know these are like little pin cushions I thought that this would be fun if we get, cut out one of these and put 
put them in the centers of the saucers. But I do want this to be a usable set. Before I was talking about adding, uh, before I was adding, a, I was talking about adding fabric to the cups and the teapot, but that might get a little crazy. So we're just going to make it a usable painted uh, teapot. It's not going to be dishwasher safe. Hello, Jeffrey Langley. How you doing, friend? Hello, Denise. How are you? Hey, Beth Stewart. So good to see you. Hey, Renee Sharp. So I'm just going to cut out a couple of these little pin cushions to put on the bottom of the plate. Uh, I got these little scissors from, from Timu. I've never used them before, but they're little detailing scissors. Gosh, on Amazon, they're kind of expensive. And I said, well, let's try this. It'll be fine. So I'm just going to cut this little pin cushion out, guys. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to seal it and then we can paint right over top of the fabric so it should blend right in be just fine i'm going to use mod podge now i did go ahead and use some rust-oleum 2x clear spray as a primer so i sprayed this whole tea set and this tea set guys came from my mom when i went to go see her she plays online bingo and she won a tea set but she don't drink tea she drinks coffee uh so she gave me this tea set and i said okay i'll craft it thanks mom I love it. And I need to start playing that bingo game that she plays for to win prizes. She was showing me something else she won. I was like, geez. And she said it's free to play. I don't know what the site is. Uh, it says it on the bottom of these saucers. Destination VIP. <laughs> Destination VIP bingo. Y'all ever played that? Thank you, Teresa Forrest, for roaming the gnomes. I appreciate you. Hello, Danielle. How you doing? Hello, Carla and Denise. So, guys, we're going to go ahead and... I just thought this would be cute when you lift the teacup up. There's a little surprise. So, I'm going to put the little pin cushions. We're going to use the Mod Podge. I'm using our gloss. I'm going to go ahead and Mod Podge these on there. Then we'll uh, let this dry. I can go ahead and start painting the cups and the teapot. And then we'll come back to the plates, okay? Um... Uh, that's the plan for today, and I'm trying to move quick because I want to finish this thing. So I, I last night I laid out a couple other projects, and I was like, what are you doing? You're not even done with this one. Stop laying out new stuff until you finish the other one. So I've got stuff lined up for future projects. Uh, I'm live every day this week, guys. Every day. So you're going to see me a lot. Um, I think I get the 19th off. Uh, this month, but every other day I'm going to be live. My schedule is posted at the top of my page. If you guys are watching from Paint Pixie's page and you've never seen me before, welcome. I'm Justin uh, Krause. I live in Galax, Virginia. I've been crafting on Facebook for about a little over, well, about three years, uh, I believe. And I kind of got started making gnomes, and then the rest is history. <laughs> And now I love everything about arts and crafts. I mean, in high school, middle school, I took art classes, painting, and I've kind of continued that throughout my, you know, adulthood. I need to work on it a little bit more than I do, but that's the plan for this year is to do more paintings. Uh, I'm doing good. How you doing? Hello, Irene. How are you? Hello, Lisa. So good to see you. Hello, Lucille and Shirley. How are you, friends? So I got these little pin cushion things in the center of the plate. So I'm just going to set these to the side. And then I'm going to do my teapot red. And then I'm going to do one cup yellow, one cup green. Okay. And I was thinking about doing, see the detail in, the, in this. It almost looks like a plant. And I was like, Ooh, it would be fun if we did flowers. But we ain't doing that. We're just going to do we're going easy, easy peasy, okay? So I was thinking about doing uh, polka dots. Who knows what we're going to do? But for the time being, I'm just going to paint it red. I think that a solid color with all these other busy uh, areas, I think a solid color would be fine. But you could do polka dots, whatever you want to do. Polka dot stripes, uh, harlequin. But I'm just going to paint these solid colors, I think, guys. And if I want to get crazy with it, then I can go back with white and get crazy with it. But I'm going to paint the handles to the cups, 24 karat gold. And then I'm going to paint the uh, spout and the handle for the teapot, 24 karat gold. We're going to add a little bit of fabric or upholstery trim around the tray. Uh, I'm just going to use hot glue for that. And uh, we're good to go. We'll need a couple coats, guys. So that's totally fine. And I got me a little paper towel for wiping. And in case if we have some accidents, it happens. So let's get a paper towel on standby. And dip it in a little bit of water. 
And then I'm just going to wipe this top because I don't want to see any of the red on the inside. I want that to just be white, I believe. But the saucers are going to have that touch of black and white, so I think that that will be enough. I don't think that needs to be too crazy. What do y'all think? That sound like a plan? Hello, Catherine. Oh my gosh, you're going by so quickly. Uh, you've gone out for a while, took up junk. Oh, very cool. Junk journaling. That's awesome. Did you pre-spray cups? Yes, with Rust-Oleum 2X Clear Spray, friend. Uh, oh, I've missed you, Mary Ann. I hope you're doing well. Hey, Donna, how are ya? You thought, oh, you was right. Well, the teapot's not going to be red no, no more. It's going to be, uh, we'll do yellow. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah, you're right. You, you got me. You got me, girl. All right, let's do, uh, yeah, let's do, let's do yellow. And then we'll do a little bit of black and white. I'm going to incorporate some. Who knows? We might just add all the colors. Guys, I get a plan in my head, and then uh, once I go live, sometimes I forget things. I'll say, we're going to do this and this, and then next thing I know, we're doing something else, but it'll be fine. It'll turn out cute. I got faith. Uh, that's plan. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Carol Ruth. Love you, friend. Plan for surf. Where are we? Where are we? Hello, Patty. How you doing? So good to see you. Hello, Levada. How you doing? Hello, Barb. How are you? So good to see everybody. Hope y'all doing well today. Um, I think I might do the bottom parts. Ooh, see the little bottom lip? I think I'm going to do that gold, too. Um, we're just going to kind of play with these cups, I believe. If I want to add polka dots, I can definitely add polka dots still. But we got so much going on with the rest of the set. I feel like a little plain color is not going to be a bad thing. Um... Uh, I think it'll be fine. Okay, so this is Honeycomb, and this brush that I'm using is Little Frenchy Guys. It's uh, by Paint Pixie. All the brushes that I'm using today are by Paint Pixie, and all the paints are by Paint Pixie. They are amazing. I just got another order from them today. And, well, they split it up because, you know, if you get transfers, uh, the rub-ons, the pixie dough, anything like kits, then they'll ship that separate from the paint. So I got my paint yesterday and then I got everything else today. I got some rub-on transfers and uh, they got a new crown mold. It's like a bunch of little crowns that you could just fill in with the pixie dough or you can use hot glue or whatever your favorite brand of clay is. They have a new mold that's got three crowns and I'm always putting crowns on somebody. <laughs> Uh, hello, Patty. How you doing? So good to see you. Uh, let's see. Are you getting snow? No, Judy Osborne. Last week they said 16 inches and it went down to like 12. And then they was like, maybe I'll just rain a little bit, but maybe a little bit of ice. And then yesterday I looked up the, I woke up early just to see, cause it was supposed to happen last night or night before last. Nothing, nothing. No ice, no not, which I'm 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 fine with that because I'm I'm not really a fan of ice, uh, especially driving in it. I'm just going to use this. What brush is this? This is the favorite, the favorite. I'm going to use this one for the lid, and then we're just going to fill this in. I'm just going to do every other one. So we're going to. I'm not going to do checks. I'm just going to do this. This will be great. Maybe I should use this other little tiny brush. Just some tiny little detail. Um, but this has like little teardrop looking shapes. So I'm just going to outline that and then I can fill it in. Let me put this brush down. I'm trying to go quick guys. Then we'll do the rest of it in gold. The outsides and then the little top part. So I'm just going to go around here. And this is the Onyx. It's a metallic black. It's beautiful. Now, if y'all remember the tray, I think we worked on that Friday. Yeah, Friday. So Friday I was just using apple barrel paints, but then I went back over it with this onyx and then it made it like a shiny black. And I thought about using the white sands, but I didn't have any more until yesterday. But I feel like, you know, just a little bit of metallic is fine. I'm gonna do it, this will have a gloss finish. Anytime that I'm working with uh, clay or um, glass, I try to do a gloss finish on that, but sometimes I'll do a flat finish or matte. Uh, it just depends on the project, but if I'm doing porcelain or any anything that's ceramic, I usually do a gloss finish just because I want it to look like glass. I don't know. 
Y'all think that's weird? And I probably don't even need to paint the white on this one. I have this really cool stuff that um, Michelle from Unicorn Spit, she was telling me about. And it's called, it's made by plaid. It's called gallery glass. But it's almost like stickles. But it will give it a 3D. So I might go around the edges after this dries. I might go around just the outsides. And then that's going to make it look like it's uh, 3D a little bit. But it dries kind of like puffy paint. It's kind of cool. Um, I bought that though to do stained glass project or reverse painting on glass. But, uh, okay, so I just need to do the outlines. Hello, Bridget. How you doing, Fran? So good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Central, oh my gosh, Pennsylvania got 45 inches. Wow. Hi, Danielle from Colorado. How you doing? Have to go out and snow blow soon. Oh my goodness. Hey, Sharon. Yeah, here, let me show you all the view. Put your seatbelt on real quick. Let me show you all the view today because... I want you to see the weather. It's beautiful outside, actually. I mean, it's cold and windy as heck, but whew, look at look at how pretty it is outside. The sun's about to set. Got them pink clouds. We're just looking out the window right now, but it's a beautiful day. So that's that's what it looks like in southwestern Virginia. It's cold, but it ain't no snow on the ground, so I'm happy with that. And I know some people love snow, and they're like. I mean, I like a little dusting here and there, you know, but I don't like driving it. Uh, it's, it's a little different. <sighs> the yellow looks really good. Thank you, Fran. We'll add some gold on there too, okay? So I'm just going every other. So it looks like we're going to have four little teardrops. Then we'll fill the rest of it in with the, um, we'll fill the rest of it in with the 24 karat gold. Okay, now, now that I've outlined it, then I can go back in with a larger brush and fill it in. It'll be a little bit quicker. But, you know, you can eat, everybody does it differently. Sometimes if I'm in a hurry or if I have larger checks, then I'll just go for it. But if it's little small areas like this, I usually will do the outline. And then I'll come back in with a bigger brush and fill it in. But whatever works for you, Fran. Whatever works for you. What y'all been doing today? Anything fun? I have not really done too much. I watched uh, church today, and then I've been working on some totes. Um, guys, I do have some totes available. Uh, I don't know if Josie minds. Josie, you on here? Josie? She, oh, Josie is in Hawaii. She's in Maui. Wowee. Have fun, Josie. But I do have some totes available, guys. I don't think that Josie would mind if I showed you, but they're all the same. Uh, I just wanted to have some that were that was on hand that people could get at any time. So I ordered 60 to start with, but I have those ready to go. And um, I'm selling these a little bit cheaper because, you know, they're all the same. But these are $20 that includes shipping. And the first, uh, here, let me show you. I'm going to outline this. These are so cute. And this is the um, design that Blake did for me on the computer. He made this design. So, uh, and these are nice, nice totes. They have black handles and a black bottom. So, and they are large. I think these are 16 inch. So these are the totes that I have available. I'll have these at any any time, but y'all just message me. And guys, the first 20 people today, I'm just now showing them today. First time you're seeing them. So the first 20 people to message me with your address uh, saying that you want a tote, I will give you a thing of fairy lights, a bendable ruler. It's like a 12 inch ruler that you can do your checks and stuff, you know, on the curves. And you'll get a paint pixie rub on. Just it will be a bird, or it will be a bug, a bird, a bug, or a flower. I think that's what I got. I don't know. But you'll have a rub on, lights, a bag, and a roller for 20 bucks. But the first 20 people. So y'all just send me a message at the Crafty Brother, okay? And I will uh, send you the link to pay. I take PayPal, Venmo. Uh, 
and Facebook pay. But guys, y'all know that I'm not monetized right now, so, uh, and I don't know if I'm gonna get it back. So, gotta pay my bill somehow. And I was like, let me make a few totes and see if anybody's interested. So, um, these all say the Crafty Brother, and I'll give you some extra stuff. So, this is gonna be the top, and then I'm just gonna fill the side and the little, uh, this on this little part gold, okay? So, if any, anybody's interested, let me know. Woo! Love the tote. I love that design. Hey, Dale, how you doing, friend? So good to see you. So, guys, uh, we have the red and the yellow. So, this one's going to be green, I guess. But I want to do every other one green, okay? And then we'll do the black and the white. What should we do? Polka dots? Let's just get crazy. So, I'm just going to start marking this in. We're going to do some horizontal, or not horizontal, diagonal lines, little stripes. Um... And I'm just going to do every other one. And then the, the, you know, the other ones will be green. So I'm just going to freehand some little stripes in here, kind of like a candy cane, but instead of red, we're using black. But I'm just going to fill in this one little section. Everybody okay? Hey, Hazel, how you doing? Oh, you're so sweet, friend. Thank y'all for being here. Uh, guys, y'all just mean the world to me. Last night I was reading my Christmas cards again. Y'all just keep me motivated and keep me going. I appreciate y'all. Um, you don't know how much you mean. Okay. So I'm trying to move quickly. <laughs> Try it. Let's do this real detailed project real quick. <laughs> Can y'all see what I'm doing? So I'm just doing like a little stripe. I'm gonna fill these in. Uh, let's see. Yesterday, Blake was off. So we spent the day together. It was nice. We just kinda took it easy, watched some movies. Uh, went and saw my couple friends. I went and saw Stacy. Um, I had to run some things over to her house, and then she gave, she was, she was been cleaning out her basement. That was Stacy, man, she, she is always doing something, I can't keep up with her, she makes me tired. She was cleaning out her basement, and she gave me some stuff that she didn't want anymore, and I said, okay, thank you, and I said, we'll be doing that to my basement soon, and I'll return the favor. I'm sure I'll have lots of stuff to give her. And I'm gonna do poke, like I'm gonna do stripes on this section, then I'll do polka dots, and then I might do checks. Uh, we'll just switch up every other one, but I want the teapot. You know, the teapot's the star of the show, so we gotta make it cute. I was gonna decoupage some of the fabric on here, but the print, it would just be the face. So I think the body is what makes these little ladies so fun because they're wearing pin cushions and they are a little risque. Uh, you know, they in the singles club at the Shady Pines retirement home, they don't care. They, they, granny's gone wild showing their stuff. I mean, they're hidden with pin cushions, but they ain't, they're modest, but they still know how to party. You know what I mean? Uh, you'd like a toe? Okay, hey, Charlene, just send me a message under the cra Crafty Brother guys, and then it will show me the time that you sent the message. So the first 20, will have extra stuff, but I'll always have those available, okay? So if y'all ever want a tote, you can message me, and uh, I'll have them. And they're $20, but that does include shipping. My private group, they get a little bit of a discounted rate. I've already talked to them Thursday about their price, uh, including shipping, but they also get the, the fir first ones to message me. Um, first 20 and I can mail these out tomorrow guys. I got to go by the post office anyways So this is our first little section. That's fun like a little barber um, And then I'm not even going to paint white. I'm just going to paint this black on top of it And then we're going to do let's do Let's do polka dots for the other side So I'm just going to use the end of my brush And then we're going to make some dots and hope that it looks cute. But I appreciate you guys so much. Hopefully, I'll get my monetization back soon, guys. It's been rough. And then we just had Christmas. 
And I was like, ah. Uh, we ain't been shopping a lot lately, but that's okay. The Lord provides. I did get the flooring, the rest of the flooring for the uh, craft shack. So we're going to be working on the craft shack some more this week. We'll get that put in. Then I have to... <clears throat> I have to get trim, but that, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get that, so we'll get it soon. Uh, I did find some on Marketplace for a discounted rate. I always check your Marketplace, guys, because you can find some amazing, amazing deals. I found crown molding for $1.25 a foot, and it's like the real thick, beautiful crown molding. Go to uh, Lowe's, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> no, no. Can't, can't be doing that. But we were going to uh, buy some blank boards and then use Bobby's router. But this option's even better, you know. So I'm just doing a little polka dots all the way up this little section. Uh, hey, Denise, how you doing, friend? So good to see you. I don't know. They said that I went against uh, community standards. I've talked to two people. And neither one of them can tell me exactly what I did. And then they said I was under review. My page status still says that it's in good standing, that I have no violations, but I've talked to a couple other creators that have lost their monetization in the back, in the past, and they said it took 90 days. So who knows? We'll see. So we got polka dots on this side, and then we got stripes on this side. So now I need to do, uh, let's do checks. Let me clean off this little part. Let's do um, checks on the spout part, okay? And then we'll just paint every other little uh, little one green. It's gonna be great. So I'm just gonna do kind of larger checks so I'm not here all day, guys. We'll just do uh, rows of two, I think. Cause that's what we did. No, let's do three. Cause we did two on the sides, but we'll do smaller. We'll do, we've got 57 different sizes of checks on this thing so it'll just make it look fun okay so I'm just using this little bitty brush Woo. and hopefully I don't smear what I just did but we'll see I'm just freehanding it guys so we're not here all day but I started with two at the top one in the middle and I'm just bringing them down trying to trying to get about the same size okay and these little teapots, though, when you're working in these little areas, sometimes they can be little boogers, but just take your time. Don't rush it. And it ain't got to be perfect, okay? It's a craft. As long as you're having fun and making something pretty and you love it, that's all that matters. But normally people draw these out with a pencil and then they'll put like a little dot wherever it needs to be colored. Um, just so you won't make mistakes, but it's just a checkerboard. And you know, if you start and then you're like, oh gosh, this don't line up. We'll just, uh, it's okay. Just make some of them a little bit smaller and continue on and put that part in the back. Ain't nobody gonna care. Shoot, be fine. I think it makes it worth more if it's hand painted and you know you took the time to make it beautiful as compared to buying it in the department store it means more to people when you give it to them or what have you and then that's enough checks that's fine so we see we got little checks we got stripes and we got polka dots what else do we not have oh we could do harlequin Ooh, let's get real adventures <laughs> uh, Oh, that's okay. Hey, Beth with Crafty Edge. How you doing? Check for the habitat. Sometimes they have trim there. Oh, cool. Uh, we, the closest habitat store, I think, is Mount Airy. Love the lines with the checks. Thank you, Bram. We're just kind of just kind of alternating. Let's do a Harlequin. Uh, I should not be doing a Harlequin, guys, but we'll... Because Harlequin's hard, I think. Uh, harder. But it's just diamonds instead of squares. It's fine. I mean, their squares turn the other way. Ain't that big of a deal. 
So we'll get it. And then, you know, every other stripe is just going to be green. The rest of it will go fast once we get this. Okay, uh, that'll be just fine. Ooh, I just touched the teapot. It's got to be paint the handle. It's got to be painted gold anyways. It's fine. So I'm just trying to paint these little diamonds. And we'll see how she turns out. Let's just do some little lines. Okay. So I'm going to do those same little uh, peppermint stripes that we just did. Okay. But I'm not going to fill them in, okay? And that's how we're going to get our Harlequin. Let's just do a little peppermint stripes. About the same uh, width throughout. But they don't have to be exact. Some people are OCD and they will break out the uh, tape measure. I like wonky checks. I like some a little bit bigger, some a little bit smaller because I think it makes it more whimsical. We talked about that the other day. If they're all the same size, they look like a checkerboard or a race car flag. But I like them, you know, either way. Okay, so now we can go ahead and fill this in. And then we're just gonna fill in every other one. So I started with one at the top. Uh, Wonky is wonderful. This is going to be amazing. I hope so, Roberta. How you doing, friend? And then uh, after we do the green, then I'm going to go in between the lines with a little bit of the 24 karat gold, guys. Uh, we're just having fun with this project. These are fun girls that know how, I mean, they have to, they look like they know how to have a good time. So I want this to be playful and fun and just, you know, fun for all ages. Okay, we getting it. Well, it kind of looks like a wonky Harlequin, but that's okay. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Girls. What are they fighting over? <laughs> oh, children. Fur children. Um, well, so this is kind of like Harley Quinn check had a baby, okay? Harley check, that's what this is called. Uh, Harley check. It's not quite Harley Quinn, but it's not quite check, so maybe we invented something. <laughs> uh, this is what it's looking like so far. Uh, Hey, Cindy, how you doing, friend? Hello, Laura. Get in trouble for doing those checks? Oh, girl, if you get in trouble, just dry it and paint it white and start over. It's fine. Something to do on a Sunday night. You know. Makes time go by fast. I'm just about done with this little section. And then we will get to her greens. Okay. That's what we got so far. Wee! First time, hello from London, Kentucky, Barbara Phillips. Thank you for being here, my friend. My name is Justin with the Crafty Brother. Uh... Thank you, Carol Ruth. You're so sweet. Hey, Pat. How are you? Hello, Lisa. So good to see you. Hey, Lucy Jordan. How are you, friend? Hope everybody's doing great. Thank y'all for being here with me today on Paint Pixie's page. Guys, if y'all haven't tried Paint Pixie's paints, please do so. And please use my link. It doesn't cost any extra, but I do get a small commission. I do have my link posted at the top of my page with uh, my link tree in my calendar. You will not be disappointed. I love their metallic paints. I love all their paints, but their metallics are so beautiful. Um, 
White Sands is awesome. I use it all the time. Uh, it's like a pearlized color, but you can add it to any other paint and then it will make it pearlized. It's very cool. Enchanted Forest is a beautiful metallic green. It's got little gold flakes in it. It's super pretty. Uh, we've also, Valentine's Day has been, we've been rolling out the Crimson Tide on every project, I feel like, because it's that metallic shiny red. It's beautiful. Okay, and then we're just going to put some little lines right here. Uh, straighten it up a little bit. And then now we're going to paint it green. And then we'll get to the gold work. This is moving right along, guys. I thought it, I thought it was going to take longer, but we getting it. Good, bad, or ugly, we getting it. Let's put a little line right here. But this was already white. If y'all are just joining, guys, my mom gave me this little tea set. She got it from a bingo online bingo. Something. She said, I know you like uh, crafting with teapots. Yes, I do, girl. She has one of my teapots. It's got Santa on it. It's a pink tea set. Uh, she's had that for a while. It stays up, though, all year round. In her dining room, she loves it. So I'm just making a line down the side, guys. It really does give it a whole different look. I mean, it kind of frames it out. And I feel like my hands are shaking. Stop shaking. And then uh, any part that I, ooh, what the heck's going on here? I guess we're going to bring this on down because I did it on that one side. I just now realized that. So let me bring down my stripes just a little bit so that it matches their checks over there. Um, I didn't realize I went all the way down with the checks, but that's okay. We're getting it, y'all. And then I'm going to have to bring my polka dots down, too. I touched something. <clears throat> so like I said, if you mess up, let's get out the old white paint. It's the magic eraser, guys. It's amazing. We haven't sealed this yet, so I might be able to get this off, actually, with just a little bit of water. Let's see if we can get it off with a wet paintbrush. Before, I mean, until you seal it, though, you can usually play around, especially with ceramics and glass. Uh, just get you a wet paper towel or a wet paintbrush, make sure it's clean, and then just wet it, and then you can usually wipe it right off. There we go. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Uh, not me. I mean, I try to be a clean person, but... Every day is a struggle. <laughs> and dishes and laundry, they never stop, do they? They always there. Like magic, it's gone. I know that's right, friend. Not a big deal. Okay, there we go. So let's get out the same one that we made our polka dots with. And we'll just extend that down. It'll be less painting in the long run. Uh, okay. And when I do my polka dots, guys, I try to do lines, but I mean, everybody does their polka dots different. But see, I'll do like a line, a line, a line. And then I make sure that they're kind of lined up though, going this way and this way. But it's just kind of like playing tic-tac-toe. Uh, but you can be more sporadic. There ain't no rules in crafting, guys, as long as you like it. That's all that matters. I just tell you the way I do, and then, you know, 
The way you do it, it's up to you. Okay, we'll just bring this on down. Straighten up a couple of these little polka dots. I just use the end of my uh, paintbrush. I'm gonna paint one end down here. Okay, and then, so we gotta bring these checks down a little bit. And then we'll be able to move on with the green. Now right here, we have black, white, this is probably black right here. I'm just trying to continue the pattern. Probably have a black. And then the white would be right there, and then this would probably be black. And I will do some giveaways uh, towards the end, y'all. I will give away some napkins. Earlier and closed off, you're a cloner. Oh, thank you, Gloria. I appreciate you. Everybody good out there? Okay, so we just got like two more rows of checks, but I try to go quickly. So I know Sundays are made for naps, right? Anybody take a nap today? Or planning on taking one? I know somebody out there is probably laying in bed right now saying, I wish you'd be quiet, then I could take a nap. Hey, Vicki, how you doing? So good to see you. Hey, Joanne, how are you? You love... Oh, you like the red... Thank you, guys. You're so sweet. Guys, Amazon um, had these hoodies for $7. I wore a, a striped one the other day. Um, they're actually Blake's, but we wear the same size, so... These were some of his Christmas presents. I said, you don't mind if I wear this, right? Uh, you know, when we first got together, guys, he was a size 28, and I was a 36. And so that was quite the difference, huh? Or maybe I was pushing a 38, because I was 260 pounds uh, when we first got together. And then Blake gained a little bit of weight, and then I lost some, and now we're both 34s. Uh, you know... It is what it is. Okay, so now let's go ahead, and I have two color greens, so I'm gonna use the light green kind of in the middle, and then I'm gonna use the dark green on the outside, so it looks like it's kind of shadowed a little bit. Uh, think, oh yeah, I love a good hoodie, friend. Okay, so this is the sour apple green. I'm gonna start with that. We should probably go ahead and dry this, guys. Let's go ahead and dry this real quick, because I don't wanna get more black splotches everywhere. So let's go ahead and dry what we just did so it's not gonna come off. Um, and if y'all are just joining, guys, this is the tray that I did Friday. So we're making a little coffee, or a little teapot set to go with it. But look at these little ladies. They're called the Sew Girls. And they're wearing pin cushions and there's all kinds of buttons in there. So now we're making a little, uh, I still gotta paint these plates too. Don't forget the plates. I'm going to do one of those uh, checks, or polka dotted, I think, in one stripe. I think we got enough checks on the tray. I don't want to, like, over-check it because there's other patterns out there, right? Like stripes, polka dots, uh, Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn check, Harley check. <laughs> you love lighthouses? Awesome. I love lighthouses, too. Uh... Are you talking about Kate Hatteras, the one with the curly, swirly, uh, curly swirlies? I've been up in that one. I love the Outer Banks. Outer Banks is my favorite. So nice. Okay. I mean, I've not been to the West Coast, but for the East Coast, I, I, I mean, I, you know, for my area, I like the uh, Outer Banks. I love any kind of beach, though. I don't care. So this is the sour apple, guys. I'm just gonna start with the sour apple kind of in the middle, and then we're gonna add the uh, Christmas cookie, the darker green on the sides. 
So this is sour apple, and then we're going to do the bottom and uh, all the little edges in gold. Okay. And then this is the Christmas cookie. It's a little bit darker. And then I'm just going to kind of blend this in so that we have a couple different greens. And the bottom lip will be gold, and so will the spout and the handle. Okay, I like that. It kind of looks like lettuce, cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, <laughs> tomato leaf. Hey, Katrina, how you doing? There, girl, there ain't nothing to it. You got this. The more you practice, the easier it is. And I need to practice a lot more. That could be a lot faster. I feel like I'm slow sometimes, but every time I say that, people will say, say I'm not. And I'm like, well, to me, I feel like I'm going slow. <laughs> uh, now I'm just gonna add a little bit of the sour apple and just kind of blend it. I don't really wanna go over this twice, so I'm just trying to make the first coat look, look good. It's different. I like it. But yeah, um, Josie, if you're watching replay, we're painting the teapot green uh, for Envy. Cause we're not in Maui. <laughs> Have a good time, friend. Take lots of pictures. We are all jealous. I want to be a Maui. <laughs> okay, and we just got one more. And then we'll paint our plate and get out, get out the gold and we'll paint all of our gold and then we'll be done. I said the plates, right? We gotta do the plates. That's what we're doing next. Guys, that's how my mind works. I don't remember five minutes ago. Um, so if I ever forget something, guys, it's not gonna hurt my feelings if you send me a reminder because that actually helps. I am a human and I have, uh, I'm blessed to have quite a few friends on here, and I'm so, so thankful, but it's a lot to keep track of. So, if I make mistakes, y'all just be like, hey, did you forget about Happy Mail from uh, 2014? <laughs> I mean, don't, don't be, don't be just trying to get free stuff, cause times is hard, but, you know, I always try to be fair. This one lady said, she was very mean to me, and I wound up blocking her, but she said, Happy Mail's a joke, I've been waiting on my Happy Mail uh, for six weeks, there, there's never once an address, so how do I know to send it, who to send it to? I just blocked her, and I said, I ain't got time for that negativity. <laughs> she just went off on me. I mean, I try to do nice things, but, you know. It is what it is. So this is our little teapot. It's green. I think once we have the gold, it's going to be beautiful. So let's go ahead and see what that's going to look like. Because the gold might need a couple coats. So we didn't do, we didn't tint or primer or anything. So we might need a couple coats. Let's see what that's going to look like. This is 24 karat. Ooh, that's bright. I love it. This is 24 karat gold by Paint Pixie. We probably will need a couple coats. Because uh, this is just straight paint on porcelain. And I don't want to see streaks. Okay. 
Okay. And then we're going to do the lip gold. We're going to do the bottom gold. We're going to do the handle gold. And I will seal this, guys, in a, a gloss finish. Let's get the inside of this teapot, too. I could have done the inside of fun color, but... Be fine. Are we okay? Hey, Mick, how you doing? Hello, D. Irvin. Guys, I'm so sorry if I miss your comments, but just know that I do go back and I read all the comments at the end of the night. That's the first thing that I, or the last thing I do with my day is I watch my replay and I read all the comments and answer any questions. But if I ever miss any, then y'all know that you can message me anytime with the Crafty Brother. I'm always online. And I'm, I love helping. We're just gonna paint over that black I got on there. I think it'll be fine. So let's just paint this handle gold. We're gonna do two coats anyways. But there is a little bit of green in the tomatoes in that print. There's green, red, and yellow. And I was like, oh wow, a stoplight. <laughs> That's what it makes me think of, but I love it. I was like, that's fun. Okay, it will need another coat. So we're gonna dry this and then I'll get the bottom of it. Um, we're also gonna do the, uh, let's go ahead and do these cups. So I'm going to do these handles gold, and then just the top, I still might do some polka dot, dots on these, I'm not sure yet. I just want to see what it looks like all together, but I feel like the solid colors would be fine. Um, just because we have so much going on, we've got every print that I think is out there. I'm going. Gold makes the teapot pop. Yes. Hello. Uh, who is that? Art and Grace. Hey, Deb Brown. How you doing, friend? I was talking about you yesterday. I said, if anybody needs help with resin, go watch Deb Brown because she's an expert. And she's amazing. Um, I did this tray. I resined it, but I need to order some more because um, I added some buttons. And let's paint over this bingo VIP. It'll be fine. I love bingo, y'all. I might go play. Um, one of my cousins, she works at a bingo hall. But it's about 45 minutes away. And it's every Thursday. And that's my private group night. But this Thursday, this coming Thursday, Miss Jim's teaching. So I might go play some bingo. Okay. Who knows? I said Mike, but who knows. Hello, Christine. How you doing, friend? So good to see you. What about the bottom of the... Yeah, I'll get that as soon as we dry. I just don't want to pick up the handle or the this part that we just painted and then smear that. So we'll dry this and then I'll get the bottom, okay? Uh, that's the only reason I haven't done it yet because the top is wet. But we'll get to it, friend. Hey, B, so good to see you. Hello, Annette, how you doing? Happy Sunday. Thank y'all for being here. Thank you for uh, sending the gnomes to Rome. And guys, I do have some totes available. I told everybody about them. Um, I'll hold those up one more time. But they're $20. They're large, they're nice, they're $20, but that includes shipping. So that's the total price you pay. The first 20 people to message me today, you'll get fairy lights, uh, a rub-on transfer, it'll be a little uh, bird, probably, or a bee, or a butterfly. And then you'll also get a flexible ruler to do your checks. So the first 20 people, here, let me show y'all. Because I know some people are just joining. But just send me a message at the Crafty Brother. Oof. But 
Blake came up with this logo and he designed it. And these are very, very nice totes. They're very large. Um, they got a black handle and then a black bottom of them. Okay, so now I'm, this is going to take a couple coats of gold, guys, but it's going to look beautiful. And this is 24 karat gold by Pink Pixie. I love this color. I use it all the time. It's very, very bright, but they have other uh, metallics as well. If you like, like an antique bronze, they have a statuary. They have copper as well. They have a rose gold, which is called blush. Um, they've got all the colors. I love gold. I used to hate gold, hated it. I was like, oh my gosh, cause you know, I was born in 84 and brass was very popular in the eighties. And I was like, ugh, gold reminds me of the eighties. But they've come out with so many new gold paints that it's not like the eighties anymore. Um, okay, so we're gonna just let this gold dry a little bit naturally. I still gotta paint these plates. We're just about done. Gotta paint these plates. You love copper, me too, Kim. Oh my gosh, I love copper. Uh, you would love a tote, but can't, oh, that's totally fine. I totally get it, friend. Totally get it. We're going to paint this gold too. I forgot to do that one. Let's go ahead and paint that gold and then we'll start on our plates. Uh, so this is going to be the top of the teapot. And I'm just going to fill in all these little areas with gold and then paint this little, uh, topper gold. I like silver too. I like all the color. I mean, honestly, I like all the colors, guys. Periwinkle, uh, indigo. Those are my favorite shades just because it's like between blue and purple. It's a very calming color. That's what color my craft shack is. I didn't. I just thought about that last night. We didn't even mean to, but we did add a little bit of purple and a little bit of blue, a little bit of gray, and with the paint, um, it was just white paint. We mixed our own, and then we put some glitter in it too. And somebody said if you take a um, lint roller to the walls, then it'll pull out more of the glitter. So we might try that. Let's see if it pulls out a little bit more. Cause I mean, it's not super noticeable, which I kind of like, but see, this is gonna be a little lid. But it's craft room. Why not get glittery? Shoot. It's craft room. It's supposed to be fun. Okay, so I think I'm going to do polka dots on one of these and then the stripes on the other one, okay? So these are going to be the saucers. And I, if you're just joining, guys, this print had some little pin cushions. So I decoupaged a pin cushion to the bottom. Uh, let me change this water. It's getting a little, a little muddy. fresh water here. I'll only take a second. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to paint these plates and then we just got to do another coat of gold and then we're done. Then I'm going to do a couple uh, giveaways, okay? So let's just do polka dots on this one. And I think black again. And I'm just going to do... Uh... Okay, here we go. Okay. Two, three. Guys, I had a bingo da dauber, and those work great for big polka dots, but I don't want real big ones. <laughs> okay. And now I'm gonna go to an angle. Okay. Sorry if I missed some comments, guys. I've gotta concentrate for a second. Apologize in advance. Thank you, Teresa. I appreciate you. Yes, I'm on two pages. I'm on uh, Paint Pixie and on mine. So I'm reading my tablet from Paint Pixie and my phone is on my page. Everybody okay? Thank you for walking the gnomes. I appreciate you. Hey, Cindy, how are you, friend? So good to see you. Okay, so we're just doing some polka dots. 
and they ain't got to be perfect. Uh, if they wonky, that's fine. I'm wonky too. So see, I'm just kind of going at an angle, and then I'm going to bring these where they're going at an angle as well. So they're going down this way, and they're going at like an X, right? So then they'll, they should mostly line up, or make sense kind of-ish. Okay. I'm going to do a gold lip around these plates um, as well. And I'm just using the end of my paintbrush, guys. And this is kind of a larger paintbrush. It's, but if you want small dots, do um, a smaller brush. But the bingo daubers do work great for large dots. You can buy those at the dollar-ish tree. Um, but I want little dots today. Ooh. Ooh, I messed up on that one. It's okay, though. If you mess up, guys, just take your wet brush. Like I said, it's like a magic eraser, a wet, clean brush. And then just tap it off. Ain't no thing. Now, this plate where I just erased is going to be a little bit wet, so you want to avoid that section until it dries a little bit, or else it's going to run, and then it's going to look a little messy. I also have white paint, so we can go back over it if we need to. You're on Paint Pixies page. Yes, Karen, how you doing? Hey, Becky, how are you? Thank you, Car Carolyn. I appreciate you. Thank you guys so much. And Mary White, guys, she, um, you know, y'all know all things with Mary. She sent me the link on how to set up my robot. So I will try to do that, uh, this week. I haven't set up the, the robot thing yet where y'all are putting the eye stuff. I follow which I, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Shoot, dang, these polka dots is taking longer than uh, checks. I was like, this will be quicker. Never mind. It kind of looks like a ladybug, uh, which is fun. And then we'll do stripes on the other one, okay? Sound like a plan, Stan? I'm probably doing too many polka dots, but we crazy, crazy about them. We love them. Stacy, that's her favorite pattern. She loves polka dots. Um, her nickname used to be Dottie before it was Scroll Saw. That's what I would call her before, and then I started calling her Scroll Saw. And then I don't know what how she got that name. Now everybody calls her Scroll Saw. But that's her favorite craft to do is work on her Scroll Saw. Okay, so here's polka dots. <laughs> we got lots of them. Now let's just do some stripes. I think I'm just gonna do long stripes. I think that's gonna be fun. Or no, let's do this. Whee! And I'm gonna clean these up in just a second. I'm just gonna do a plate like this. We're gonna, we're gonna fix these in just a second. I'm just trying to lay it down to see how wide I need to go. Uh, that looks pretty good. And then see, we can just widen this out a little bit. Um, get a little bit more paint. And then I'm going to go a little bit wider towards the rim. 
out of the plate. Blake's playing a video game, if y'all can't tell. Y'all hear him in there, he's getting all kinds of upset. It'll be okay, Blake. Oh, thank you, Barb. I appreciate you. Yeah, they're being quiet, Jeffrey. I think they're taking a nap right now. Anytime I'm live, they pretty much go lay on the couch. But, you know, once we move out to the craft shack, then y'all be able to see them all the time because they're going to have a... I got a little leather love seat from my old house. We used to have it in our bedroom. But it's too big for this place, so I'm going to put it in my craft shack for the dogs so they can have a place to lay down when I'm crafting, but they'll be right in the background, so y'all will be able to see them. You said, you had to say they were being good. Just had to say it. That's probably my brother. That's my brother. Okay, we're just about done with this. And then we're going to dry everything and then we're going to go over the uh, gold one more time. I'm in the kitchen. I'm live. Yeah, you want to come say hi? You want to say hey to everybody? Oh, you, you ain't got to. We're working on a tray set. Oh, it's so bright here. Yeah. See, this is what we're working on. This is uh, Jenny, everybody. <laughs> so, this is what we're working on, everybody at home. Oh, Travis. Is that is Betty Booper? Yeah. Betty Booper. Oh, and Travis you is here. Thank you. That's what we're working on. Um, I didn't know you was coming over. Good to see ya. Yeah. Dropping off some medicine or just picking up some medicine. We need oh. a breath of fresh air. Well, dang, y'all. Yeah. I'll probably be done in about 20, 30 minutes. I don't know if y'all still be here. It's getting awful cold out there, 19 and still snowing. My goodness. Hey, Suzanne, how you doing? That's Jenny, guys. That's my, that's one of my sisters. One of my sisters and my brother. Uh... Jenny, uh, she, she's the one that helps my dad out, and my stepmom, she stays there during the week. She does, like, home health care. Y'all have never met her before, I don't think. You might have seen pictures of her and her daughters when we went to the beach. Hey, Missy, how you doing? Oh, y'all so nice. Thank you, guys. Y'all can hear them girls, they're excited. So I'm just drying all this stuff. Oh, Travis, your uh, stuff is on that dresser in the living room. Uh, hang on one second, guys. They're getting ready to leave, so I gotta, they can stop to pick some stuff up. They're getting ready to leave. I just have to make sure you grab the right package. Aww. Y'all so sweet. Didn't remember you had a sister. Well, guys, I, I, I only have one biological sibling, and that's my brother, Travis. And then, you know, my both my parents, they remarried. And my stepfather, he has a daughter, Brittany. And so she's one of my stepsisters. And then my stepmother, Becky, she has three kids. So she has a son, a son that's my age, Peyton. And then we have uh, my two stepsisters, Chesley and Stacy. But then uh, 
my family adopted Jenny and, well, kind of adopted Jenny and her oldest daughter. And now she has two, so they stay there. So now I have four sisters, two brothers. You know, we don't say half or step or adopted. We just say brothers, sisters. Hey, Lois, how you doing? So good to see you. But, you know, technically... Me and Travis have the same mom and dad. All right, bye. I love y'all. And then, you know, then I got some step, and then I have uh, Jenny. And Jenny is such a blessing to my family. She really helps. She does, I mean, that's her job. She, she worked two jobs, but she's a home health care person. So she stays with my dad and my stepmom and helps take care of them. That uh, helps with cleaning, helps with cooking, all that stuff. So she's definitely a blessing. Uh, she's the reason I don't worry as much as I already do. Because <laughs> I know that they're in good hands. So let's give everything a second coat. Ooh, I'll just put my hand in that gold, guys. See, i got to pay attention. Bonus siblings. There we go. Big happy family. Yeah, there's a lot of us. <laughs> Four children, three girls, and a boy. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, family is amazing. So this is one of our little plates, cute. So let's, uh, we need to do another coat of red on this, guys. Um, another coat of red, another coat of yellow. So let's go ahead and do the red. And this is candy apple red, guys, but it just needs two coats. Um, if you tint your primer, if you use a tinted primer, then you should be fine with one coat. But anytime that you're painting on like ceramic and stuff, uh, I would probably do two coats no matter how good the coverage is, but that's up to you. Possibly three coats, just depending on how, how well it covers. This is chalk paint, so it covers really, really well, but um, it is a shiny. I didn't paint it white at first. If I would have painted it uh, before, then it would have probably stuck a little bit better. But I did use a spray primer. I used the Rust-Oleum 2X Clear Spray. And I'm just going over it with a second coat of red. I think I like the solid colors. I know that's weird, but we have so many patterns everywhere else. I think that the solid color is kind of nice. It's kind of like a break for the eye. It's like, ooh, I can rest my eyes there without seeing all them checks and squares and diamonds and, you know, be just fine. But yeah, Jenny and her kids, she's got two daughters. Nevea and Madison and they went to the beach with us for Thanksgiving so you've probably seen pictures of that side but I don't think y'all y'all have never seen my other three sisters um my stepsisters Brittany, Chesley, and Stacy um they're I'm the oldest of everybody I'm the, I'm the oldest. And my family, like, all my siblings, like, they're musically inclined. And I'm the only one that doesn't play an instrument. All of them can play instruments. I can't. Um, but I, I do the painting and the arts and the crafts. So that's how I kind of got my name, the Crafty Brother. They're all musically inclined, and I'm more crafty. Um, but we all love to be creative in our own different way. And my brother, he plays the guitar and he sings and he was in a band for a little while. And uh, my st stepsister, Stacy, she can play anything she puts her hands on. I think she can play 12 instruments or something crazy. Their dad was in a bluegrass, bluegrass band. He's very talented. Um, so he's been a musician all of his life. Um, big happy family. Okay, so let's go ahead and dry this one more time, guys. Then we'll add the top coat of gold to everything. I'm going to add a little bit of gold, I think. Uh, now that I'm seeing this teapot, I kind of just like the black. I was going to do uh, gold in the middle of each stripe, but I think I like it. We still have to do the gold on the bottom. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And I'm probably going to add some trim around the tray. I was just waiting for the resin to cure. But since I'm going to be adding more resin, I'm probably going to wait to do that trim because I want to do that last. So let's go ahead and do another coat of this gold and then we'll paint the bottom. And we're just about done, y'all, I promise. 
We've got everything that we had to paint painted. We just got to do the little lips on everything, gold. We have to do the rims. And then I'll find some winners for us. So y'all get your comments in if you haven't made a comment yet. I know I have a lot of silent watchers, guys, but it does help y'all to comment if you're uh, worried about getting notifications. But sometimes if you don't comment or anything, then they don't think that you like us. So they're like, maybe he don't want to, they, maybe she don't, he don't, she don't want to see that person no more. So it also helps to get notifications too if you do say some words. But y'all know I always try to do half mail every live that I'm on if possible, if I have time. Uh, because I love meeting all y'all and talking to you and getting to know you better. It's so fun. But if y'all place an order for those toads, guys, all, all you need to do is send me your name and address. And then tomorrow I will send out invoices. And you can pay with PayPal, Venmo, or Facebook Pay. I will take a check, but I don't ship until the check clears the bank. But you know, everything, guys, is mobile these days. So mobile check, uh, you know, the checks you can just deposit with your phone. So I don't know. I've never tried having somebody like write a check and then send me a picture of it. But you probably could do that because that's what it tells us to do. Submit a picture of the front and the back of the check. Okay. But I will mail those out tomorrow. Um, tomorrow or Tuesday, depending on if you paid or not. But they're $20. They, that includes shipping. Usually I don't include shipping. That's separate. But I just thought it would be easy. So then I don't have to factor, and it's all the same stuff. So usually every time I have a sale, it's all different stuff. So I don't know how much shipping is going to be, but shipping for a tote is $6.40, but I already factored that in. So I don't make the prices on shipping, but y'all don't have to pay for that. Well, I mean, it's already included. So you're paying like $14 for the bag, 13, $13.60 to be exact. And then the rest of it is shipping. The rest of the twenty dollars, I don't, I don't make those prices, but I ship them in mylar bags. So I'm just putting a little gold rim around there, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for this plate. This black might need another coat, but I can do that later, guys. I've kept y'all for a long, long enough. What time is it? Oh, it's only been an hour and twenty minutes, so not too long. But um, I am on Paint Pixie's page today, so I don't want to take up too much of their time. I will be live tomorrow, uh, don't know what time, I need to look myself, I think it's in the evening tomorrow, uh, I have no idea, but I'm live every day this week. Can you show the tote? Yes. Uh, yes, friend. And these are large totes. These are, I think they're 16 inches, maybe 17, I don't know. 16, 17. But these are pretty large. And then Blake designed the logo. It just says the Crafty Brother. First 20 people, you get a bendable ruler to do your checks. Uh, fairy lights, a strand of battery operated fairy lights, and some paint pixie trans. Uh, you'll get a paint pixie transfer in there as well. But it will be probably butterflies or birds. Okay, now I'm just going to do a second coat on top of this gold. We're just about done. And guys, I will post pictures on my page of this tomorrow. I'll take pictures outside. I love taking pictures outside because that sun shines on everything and then. You know, you can see everything. You see all the flaws and... Uh, if it's got a flaw, you'll see it outside. So that's why I'm like, let me show them what they're actually going to be getting. I don't want nobody to be surprised. But I try to do a good job. I try to make sure I send out nice stuff. Let me draw all this real quick. Woo! Thank you, Chrissy. 
can watch you forever. Oh, Roberta. You love butterflies? If y'all have a preference between butterflies or, or uh, flowers, butterflies, flowers, or birds, then you can say, but I'm not, it's just why surprise last. That's why I said first 20 people. And it will show me what time you messaged me. Uh, so, and then I'll send you a link to pay. Thank you, Josie, for having me. I really appreciate you, as always. Hope you have a good time in Maui. Okay, I still have to do this cup, the top of it. Woo! 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 Oh, thank you, Barbara. Uh, getting your group. Anchor Art Creations, just message me or Miss Jim if you'd like to join our private group. We do have a private group that meets every Thursday. Uh, we do a lot of paintings. We do make gnomes in there. Uh, we do a little bit of everything. But it's me and Miss Jim's private group. So just send me a message if you'd like to be in that. It's every Thursday night. It's $25 a month, but once you sign up, you can, I mean, you can cancel any time. But when you sign up there, you get access to a year's worth of tutorials, plus the supply list. We always post the supply list around Saturday, Sunday on that weekend, and then we'll make the craft on Thursday nights. So we give you a few days to get your crafts, craft supplies together. And then, you know, when you're in the private group, then you can come on and show your crafts, uh, just like we do on Ding Dong Fridays. Or uh, you can just post a picture if you want to. It's not required to make it, so I mean, no pressure at all. But a lot of the ladies, they make the projects every single week. And then they come on and show them. And I'm just so proud of them because we have so many people in there that have never painted anything in their life. And now I'm like, you're an art teacher. You know, <laughs> you have passed me on your talent. And now you're just doing amazing things. They're awesome ladies. But the tutorials are very detailed. Uh, this past Thursday, we were live for three hours, but we did two projects. But I said, you know, I only gave the supply list for one, and then if they want to make the second craft, then they can watch it on replay. But um, it took about an hour and a half for each painting, so I don't think that's too bad. But we made uh, this little girl back here, and then we made this angel painting. And these are the Dollar Tree puppy hearts. So that was the common theme that these two paintings had. It only took one puppy heart from Dollar Tree for both projects, but you know, it was a lot of fun. We do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Don't, yeah, don't be shy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll have those totes all the time. And guys, I do have, it's an out, uh, it's outsourced though, so I don't make these, but you know, I do have a website, thecraftybrother.com, and we do have embroidered hats um, that say The Crafty Brother. You can choose from different colors, and then we have t shirts just like the one I'm wearing. Um, I didn't even realize I was wearing this one today, but look, just like this one, these are actual gnomes that I've made, and it says, You're Never Alone, The Crafty Brother. You can order those anytime as well. So you can get a hat, a tote, or um, you can do the hats and the shirts on the website, thecraftybrother.com, or you can get the totes through me. And me and Stacy, we have uh, textile sales four times a year, once for every season. So we'll probably be having a spring sale uh, probably next month, because I think we wanted to get a few Valentine's things. So probably the first week of February, we'll probably be having the spring sale. Uh, we'll have some Valentine's, some St. Patrick's, all that stuff. But we'll have different shirts that you can choose from and different coats. But those are a little bit more and they don't include the shipping. Following paint pixies. Uh, what was the question? Something about paint pixies. If you're not following the page, I'm sorry. It went by so fast. 
Uh, Justin is also, oh yeah, yeah, I'm streaming on Paint Pixie's page as well, guys, so I've got their comments down here. Uh, yes, Blake is very talented. Hey, Gloria. Thank you, Fran. Okay, so, what else did I have to do? I think it was just another coat of gold. And then I think that we're just about done, so, okay. Go ahead and do a little bit of going on this rim here. So I'm just giving these uh, little teacups a gold rim. And then I have to do the bottom of the teapot. And then I think that that's a good stopping point, but it's not completely finished. I will do touch-ups tonight, but y'all can see the route that we're taking, uh, the direction that we're going in. I think it's going to be adorable, but I'm going to seal this, and then I'll post pictures tomorrow at some point. I'll take some outside photos. Uh, we'll draw all this, and I'll put it together so y'all can see what it's going to look like. But just keep in mind, it's not done. I'm going to do some touch-ups. It's far from perfect right now. I mean, it will never be perfect. Nobody's perfect but God. Let's see. That looks pretty good. And we'll just touch this up, and then I gotta do the bottom. Whew. Let's hold it by the. Yee. I do like this green and uh, checks. I, I don't see too too many uh, people pair green with the checks. I love red, black, and white together, but you know, black and white goes with any color, really. Should I hear that wind? It's been so windy today. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the bottom. So I don't want it to say bingo. And I'll do a second coat, but this is a little teapot. So it's got polka dots, it's got checks, it's got stripes, it's got a uh, version of angled checks. <laughs> And then let's dry this and we'll put it all together. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and pick two winners on Paint and Pix Pixie's page. Guys, please message me at the Crafty Brother if I call your name with your address and the word Happy Mail, okay? Because if I have people messaging me about the totes, I might send you an invoice and say, yes, you would just owe $20. So make sure to put Happy Mail on there so I'm not sending you an invoice. Uh, Anchor Art Creations. Anchor Art Creations on Paint Pixie's page. And let's find one more. And Sandy Higgin Nohos. I don't know I said that wrong. Sandy uh, Nohos. H I G N O J O S. I like that name, friend. Let's tell me how to say it. Okay, so I'll do the touch-ups later, but this should be dry enough so we can set it all on the tray. Uh, and let's put the lid on here. Oh, that's precious. It looks so good with the lid. Okay, that's not completely dry, but that's fine. Uh, woo. Okay, so let's just put this up here, and then I'll do touch-ups. I think the bottom of this teapot's still a little wet, guys. I don't want to set that on there. Let me dry this. Okay. And so then we have, we got our little tray. And then we got our teapot. 
And then we have our little plates. I do have to do another coat on the black with this one. And I think, you know, that looks nice. So this is one saucer. It's just yellow with gold. And then uh, it's got the stripes. And then this one's got the polka dots. And this one is red. So this is what we got. Um, trout, pink pixie, guys. You'll love it. You won't be disappointed. You'll see the little... And I think it's cute. So... Okay, let me find two winners from up here. <laughs> Thank y'all for being here so much. I really appreciate you guys. And we got Sally Sarah Slichter. You hear my wind chimes, girl. Okay, and let's find one more. Let's go up. And Lori Pilot. Lori Pilot. So that's four winners, guys, all right? I'll see y'all tomorrow, and then we'll do some more giveaways, and I'll post pictures of this, but um, guys, I will try to send out invoices for those totes late tonight or um, tomorrow morning, and then I'll try to ship around 2 o'clock, but I'll have these all the time, so if you, if, if you are watching on replay, guys, and you want one, just let me know. I've got 60 of them, so, all right, y'all have a good weekend. I'll... I'll be sure to read all the comments, answer all the questions, uh, but first I'm gonna wash my hands. Bye, have a good night. You're never alone, you're amazing.